us in time. Tell us. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Charlie. Today I'm hanging out in Savannah, Georgia with my friend Kirby. And we came all the way down here to check out this stuff. Talansia eusinoides, just a fancy word for Spanish moss. Cool, cool. All right, so today we're taking a quick break from trees and talking about something else. Spanish moss. Why? Because Spanish moss is actually super interesting. Just wait, you'll see. And in places like Savannah, Georgia, in the south, if you have trees, you probably have Spanish moss too, because this stuff it really is everywhere. Spanish moss is all over the place in the south, and I'm not exaggerating. It's pretty much all over the place. We found it in Savannah growing on the trees, on the park benches, lying on the sidewalk, making everything look super old and pretty spooky, too. There's absolutely nothing like it in the north where I'm from. It kind of looks like a vine that's slowly taking over a town, or like Mother Nature just vomited over everything. But the thing is, that's not really true at all. After visiting Savannah, Kirby and I found out that a lot of the things we thought we knew about Spanish moss weren't true, so it's a pretty misleading plant. I mean, for one thing, it's got a pretty sneaky name, Spanish moss. The thing is, here's what we found out. Spanish moss is not Spanish. Yeah, how weird is that? Spanish moss is not Spanish. It's actually native to the southeastern United States, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands, so it's as Spanish as Kirby which means it's not really that Spanish at all. And the thing is, there's more. Spanish moss is not even a moss. Super weird, Spanish moss is not a moss. One of the things that makes mosses mosses are the fact that they reproduce using spores, but Spanish moss reproduces using seeds, not spores, so it's not a moss. So yeah, this guy isn't even a moss. So Spanish moss isn't Spanish, and it isn't a moss, then what is it? Well, most people think it's an invasive plant parasite that's killing trees, which is totally understandable because, I mean, just look around. It's all over the place. Looks like it's sucking the nutrients right from the trees. But the thing is, that's not true either because Spanish moss isn't damaging these trees. It's actually pretty harmless. Even though it's grown all over them, it's not hurting them. So we have a super tricky plant on our hands here. Spanish moss is not Spanish, and it's not a moss, and it's not killing trees like people think it is. So then what the heck is going on here? Spanish moss, you slot dog, what are you up to? Okay, so after a little bit of research, Kirby and I uncovered the truth. So here we go. Spanish moss is a flowering plant, like a tulip or a rose that grows on trees. And they reproduce by producing these tiny little seeds that look like this. They have these little hairy parts that act kind of like sails. They can catch the wind. So the wind picks up these seeds, which then fly through the air until they land on another surface, like a tree, and begin to grow. And they can grow in a whole variety of places because they're air plants, aka epiphytes. More fancy words. Cool, cool. So what exactly is an epiphyte? Well, most plants, like trees or flowers you see growing in a garden, soak up the majority of the water and nutrients they need through their roots. But epiphytes don't do that because epiphytes don't have roots. They're plants that can harmlessly grow on other plants because they get all of the water and nutrients they need from the air, rain, and some of the dead junk lying around them. So Spanish moss is one of these plants, an epiphyte. And if we zoomed in on a piece of Spanish moss, it kind of look like this on the right, covered in a bunch of tiny scales that are trapping all of the nutrients that Spanish moss needs to grow. So it doesn't need roots at all because these scales are trapping all the nutrients it needs. It doesn't even need to be in soil really. They kind of just exist, attached to random things hanging out all over the place. Because of that, they can grow in other plants like trees just draped over a limb or two without harming them at all. Alright, I think we got it. Parasites suck the life out of other plants. Epiphytes, super chill. They're just kind of hanging around. Spanish moss are epiphytes. Specifically, Spanish moss is in the family Bromeliaceae. And you want to know something crazy? Guess what else is in that family? What? Pineapples. Mm -mm. Yeah, crazy, right? So, Spanish moss is more closely related to pineapples than anything from Spain. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's time for a rebranding. Dish the old name and come up with something new. Like pineapple hair, or the friendly spaghetti plant, or the chill tree toupee, you know? Just a couple ideas. Which makes a lot more sense to me. 